Alright folks, we're just playing around with the audio a little bit. Uh, this is Angel from Half Faith, Let It Begin. We're going to be going live in a few minutes. Just doing a little audio check for everyone out there. Making sure that the audio sounds good. Um, just want to make sure that you're aware that we are live and ready to go for another live edition of Half Faith, Let It Begin. Um, we are hoping that all of you are going to join us in about three minutes. Um, we're hoping that the audio looks and sounds good. Hey, my friend Brian just wrote me and he's like, hey... Audio is way better. That's good. Thanks for the audio check, Brian. I appreciate that. Thanks for coming through. He's going to be joining us, um, you know, and listening along as well. So I appreciate that. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to our notifications, please do so. We can uh, do that anytime on halffaithletitbegin.com. You can also uh, subscribe to us by going on your iPhone, whether that's using your podcast feature. You can use your um, Spreaker app. Um, that's how we can get us as well. Um, Ariel is here. That's who you're hearing in the background. Hi, Ariel. You ready? You listening to us live? Huh? Yeah? She's listening to us live. That's awesome. All right, we're going to do a quick sound check, everyone, just to make sure the audio is good. So stand by. We're going to be on in a few seconds, just a few seconds, while we do an audio check. folks get ready we're gonna get on the air in about 30 seconds we are glad to have you here for another rendition of half faith let it begin ariel just gave me a little spit up so i'm gonna clean her while we do the intro for half faith let it begin folks it is always a joy to come into your in your uh, in your house and uh, a joy for us to be here together and with that being said let's kick off another rendition of half faith let it begin live from my home we welcome you all for the subscribers out there on the chat line. The chat line is now officially open. You can chat with us right now live from your home. So do so and uh, feel free to give us some comments. And I'm going to go fix you up real quick and then we're going to go live, okay? Want to say hi to everybody? Say hi, Ariel. Say hi. You going to say Half Faith, let it begin? Okay, everyone. With that being said, let's get started for another rendition of Half Faith, let it begin. And we're going to do it right now. Hold on. All right, I got to do a speech. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. You ready? Let's do a speech. Here we go. All right, here we go. We got it. We got it. Good morning. My name is Angel, and I am the host of Half Faith, Let It Begin. Today, we're going to begin a two-part series entitled Teamwork. Harry Truman once said, it is amazing what you can accomplish if you do not care who gets the credit. We're not a team because we work together. We're a team because we respect one another. Today's episode is all about teamwork. Welcome to another episode of Half Faith Let It Begin, live edition from my home. It's me, Angel, with my daughter, Ariel. Let's get started. When I was a child, my mom always told me, Angel, when you were born, all the angels came from heaven. Do you know why? Because you're special. On June 16, 2018, I launched my show, Half Faith Let It Begin. I always wanted to change the world, share my personal testimony, share real life stories and motivational topics to set out to go out and change the world. Join me each and every week, Monday through Friday, because this is a show all about faith. My name is Angel, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Good 
Good morning, everyone. This is Angel from Half Faith Let It Begin. I am here live from my home with Ariel on this special live edition on Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. You heard the intro. It's all about teamwork. Folks, I'd like to dedicate this portion of this episode to my mentor, Ralph. I hope you enjoy it. Folks, the first thing I think about when I hear the word teamwork is one of my first positions as an assistant branch manager. Um, we had a team that was de- was basically put together um, by one man, one man who I called my mentor, and his name is Ralph. And, um, the team that he put together was extremely um, powerful. We didn't know it then, but one thing is for sure, when the chips were down, we never gave up. A lot of us had insecurities, myself included, trust me, and a lot of immaturity also on my part, but I grew into something better as the years went on. But one story that never will ever, ever leave my mind was the growth of our office. Uh, We had a very small um, half side of uh, a call center. And one of the things that I'll never forget is putting on an event called Midnight Madness. And what that is was it was a uh, late night edition of uh, calling out to customers um, and selling magazines. This is how far back we go. Ralph had the idea, and the idea was to go and do a Midnight Madness. Uh, From that, it stemmed into a vision that I had about running a Name That Tune game show. Now, just to give you an example why I'm talking about this and teamwork, is that it didn't take one person to pull this off. It took a team of, um, of colleagues. And, you know, if I can name drop some people without giving their last names out, you know, if Nicole's ever out there, if Abby's ever out there, um, there were a lot of key players uh, that were a huge uh, influence in this first ever Midnight Madness. And it took a team effort to make it happen. We eventually uh, were, we went live at 9 o'clock at night, went all the way till midnight and we were able to uh, perform at a very high production value. But now, the reason why I'm saying this uh, quick story about that is because throughout this process, you know, our manager always backed us up, always said, no matter what happens, I will always have your back. And that's one of the key things in teamwork, is having good leadership, and our leader no matter if we failed or if we succeeded. He always was behind us, and he always was the person that was there, even if we fell, because if we fell, it was a learning experience. It was a teaching opportunity, and he never, ever forgot that. Yeah, that's true, Ariel. He never forgot that. I know. He never forgot that. So one of the things that I wanted to touch base on for today's episode is teamwork. Now, I'll be honest. Not everybody's going to have a manager like Ralph Not everybody's going to have a manager like my current manager, uh, Sean. But, you know, one of the things that you're going to have are managers that you'll never forget. For example, I had a manager named Joni. Here's another individual that did everything in her power to make sure that she ran her office efficiently and, of course, professionally. The hardest part about being a manager or being a team player is learning to work with others, even if they don't want to put in the same effort that you do. Sometimes you have to find the key ingredient that makes them inspired. And whether that's giving them a task that they can do, that they like, or asking them point blank, what can you bring to the table? The hardest part that you'll ever will face is that teamwork, that, well, excuse me, that team person or the team player that believes that I is in team, and it's not. One of the things you cannot allow to have happen is bickering, is allowing your chip on your shoulder to influence decisions of others. You know, I'll be honest, even in my time in the very beginning, I grew to have a huge ego. The ego that I had was I felt that I was the best at what I did. Now, mind you, there's nothing wrong with feeling like you're good at what you do, but it's what you do with that success. It's what you do with those abilities that make you a great team player. What I learned eventually over the years is that when you think you are the best, and if you are the best, it is great to prepare yourself and prepare others for their success. Again, to quote my mentor Ralph, you're always looking to find someone to replace you. That's not to say that you'd be fired, 
but in case you decide to move up, you have somebody that's there to take your place. Your job is to create, excuse me, your job is to create managers. Your job is to create a staff. Ralph always said, you know, you're only as good as your, as your staff. In reality, for us, we were only as good as our leader. So one of the things that I want to touch base on with each and every one of you and what the lesson is all about is that teamwork can apply in your everyday life, especially at home. I myself, having a newborn child, can't do it all on my own. I make sure that I give my wife 110%, and she does as well. By being together as a married couple and a parent, uh, parents, it allows us the ability to do everything in our power to make our efforts for our child, Ariel, be successful. But let's be realistic. Some of you out there are single mothers, single fathers. And you know what? I admire you and I respect you because it's very hard work. But there are other people in your life, hopefully, that can assist you. And that, again, is a team effort. One of the things that I believe, and I'm so blessed to say, is that any place I've ever been a part of, even though some of the things didn't end up the way I wanted to, we always found people in our path that began and began and always came with the mentality of, let's tackle this together as a team. I had that privilege to do that in New Jersey when I met Sigfredo, an amazing team player, a person with amazing faith, a person that inspired me to be a better person and to have a stronger relationship with Christ. To Chip in Kentucky, who I didn't even know, in a matter of a week we bonded and became friends ever since 2004. And in 15 years, we've learned that are the biggest achievements that we've ever had was learning from each other, becoming fathers, and just learning to trust our way of life and trust our and have our trust in God. To my friend Brian, who we never worked together as colleagues, but as best friends, we've overcome so many obstacles, so many different tragedies. But at the end of the day, we've learned to work together as a team. As you go into your work for your workplace today. As you go into your home, remember that the person that you're working with, the person you're married with, the person you're in a relationship, even your parents can be a team. It's what you do with that effort. It's what you do with your abilities, your treasures that God has given you that will allow you the opportunity to make that team successful. Do what you want with that. Use it. And for those that are not involved, for those that are showing that resistance and they don't want to be a part of the team it doesn't mean that you turn your back on them try your very best to inspire them by giving them a task that they want to do if they have ideas even if their ideas as you feel that may not work give them the opportunity to fail and it doesn't mean in a negative way failing is half the battle the best people that make the best decisions and the ones that succeed in life are the ones that have failed have gotten back up learned from their mistakes applied it, and been a better manager because of it. And that's part one of team effort. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you have a great day. For Half Faith, let it begin. My name is Angel. Let's go into prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the team that we have here at Half Faith, let it begin. We thank you for our administration. We thank you for our brothers and sisters and their wives, our nieces and nephew, our families, our parents and grandparents. We lift up in prayer our military personnel, foreign and domestic, and we pray for our first responders that continue to do all they can to keep us safe as well. We pray for our former bosses and our mentors and our current bosses and future mentors. And we pray that their success moves on and moves forward in their everyday life. I want to thank you, God, for putting Ralph in my life, for putting him as a mentor and teaching me the way of my future. Lord, I ask you to pray for him and his family. We pray for all friends and uh, future uh, listeners of this show, and we hope that whatever message was made today was made and inspired for you to inspire others. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen, amen. Folks, have a great day. It's always inspiring to come into your homes. Hope you subscribe. Go to our website, halffaithletitbegin.com. For Ariel, who's now sleeping in my arms, and for myself and my family, I say this, have faith, let it begin. Hi, my name is Isabella, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hi, I am Mia. You're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. 
Hello, my name is Amari, and today we are back on another episode of Have Faith and Let's Begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impre- <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Thank you.